An introduction to the instinctual variants, also known as the Enneagram subtypes, is available here in one of our previous videos. You will see it currently shown on the screen. We invite you to check it out. Let's dive into each Enneagram type 6 subtypes. It's important to remember that while each instinctual variant gives a unique flavor to the type 6, they still remain, well, a type 6. They all have the same passions and fears. The blueprint is very much still based on a type 6 model or skeleton. But each subtype expresses these qualities in different ways. However, the literature indicates that the variance between the three subtypes is particularly noticeable in type 6. Self-preservation sixes are generally warm, social sixes cool, and sexual sixes can run hot. Social six. This subtype is represented by the word duty. Step into the world of the social six, where the air buzzes with the electricity of IDs, and every corner is lit with the glow of duty and reason. Imagine them as the noble knights of the modern age, armed not with swords, but with the sharpness of their minds and the shield of ideology. They seek the elusive grail of certainty in a world awash with questions. In this land of black and white, where the shades of grey are banished to the shadows, our social sixes stand tall, their gaze fixed on the horizon of understanding. They're the architects of order, the composers of rules, and appreciate deeply rationality. With a duty as their compass and a set of carefully chosen ideals as their map, they navigate the maze of life with a precision that will make even the most seasoned explorer envious. But don't be fooled by the earnest search for truth through reason or the soothing allegiance to their chosen cause. Beyond their armor of duty lies a heart that beats with the fear of standing alone against the crowd, or worse, the disapproving gaze of their chosen authority. It's this fear that fuels their quest. They look for a system to trust, to compensate for their self-doubt and fears. Yet amidst the seriousness of their mission, they revel in the clarity of knowing exactly what's expected, of having a checklist against which they can measure the world. They're the guardians of the game's rules, ensuring everyone knows their part in the grand play of life. They are then very reliable, in contrast to the self-preservation siblings who find themselves adrift in a sea of ambivalence our social sixes are the lighthouses of decisiveness. They have no patience for ambiguity, for in their world, uncertainty is the dragon to be slain. Ambiguity is disdainful to them. With a graceful bow to their chosen authority, they march forward, a beacon of idealism and duty lighting up the path with their earnest suiting strong end. So the next time you cross paths with a social six, take a moment to appreciate the beauty of their quest. Beyond their dutiful facade and their precision of their logic lies a quest for safety, a dance with fear, and a deep, unwavering commitment to the ideals that give the world color. Well, as long as it's black or white. This subtype of sixes is indeed one of the most likely to think in terms of defined black or white, as they value clarity and a clear path to follow and enforce. They can be out of touch with their personal feelings. It is also good to remember that the social six will protect and stand up for the weak, the underdog, and the people that need shelter against threats. They may be enforcers, but at their best, they are untiring protectors. This subtype can then sometimes look like type 1's. Self-preservation 6. This subtype is represented by the word warmth. Imagine a cozy, candlelit room where warmth fills the air. 
That's the essence of her self-preservation six friends. Picture them as the charming architects of camaraderie, weaving intricate tapestries of alliances with their heart full of earnest intentions. They're stockpiling bonds of trust and affection, all in the name of that snug feeling of security. Now don't be fooled by their playful laughter. These folks are on a noble quest, a quest driven by a whisper of fear of something far profound. The fear of standing alone when the storm hits. So they set out, armed with sincerity and a generous warmth, crafting shields of friendships to guard against the chill of uncertainty. Yet, within these jesters and seekers of protection lies a paradox. They're like the cautious cats tiptoeing around, afraid to disturb the peace. They're brimming with questions, oh so many questions. Yet answers are elusive to them. Doubt is their constant companion, a cheeky imp, whispering sweet nothings of hesitation and indecision in the ear. Their world is then painted in endless shades of grey. They ask a lot of questions as a mean to make sure nothing and no possible threat hasn't been accounted for. Anger is then repressed and the self-preservation six is reluctant to share their opinions or conclusions, preferring to be cautious than risk mistakes. Thus, they have a difficult time making decisions. Self-preservation sixes might remind you of type twos, those beacons of warmth and friendship, but make no mistake, our sixes are in a league of their own. With every step, every gesture of goodwill, they're not just building alliances, they're composing symphonies of mutual protection, all while wearing the most graceful of masks to hide their inner turmoil. And they will certainly not trust just anyone quite far from it. So the next time you encounter a self-preservation six, remember this. Beneath their cautious smile and their playful, Twinkle in their eye lies a heart fiercely beating with the desire to connect, protect, and most importantly, to feel safe in the embrace of their carefully woven web of alliances, small or big. They are the most phobic of the six subtypes. They endeavor to be friendly, trustworthy, and supportive as good allies are supposed to be. They can also be very humorous, like the other sixes. Sexual six. This subtype is represented by the word intimidation and initially by the words strength or beauty. This is the counter type. Welcome to the intriguing world of the sexual six, a realm where boldness reigns supreme and the air crackles with the energy of defiance. Picture them as the swashbuckling heroes of their own epic saga, charging headlong into the fray with a cheeky grin, all the while cloaked in the armor of strength or the dazzling robe of beauty. This is the counter type, the fearless knight who believes that the best defense is a splendidly bold offense. Denying their fear and weakness is paramount to them. Sexual sixes are a counter type as they run towards fear rather than away from it. They're the daredevils at the masquerade. They are huge contrarians, weaving through the crowd with a graceful defiance that leaves onlookers in awe or annoyance. Instead of thinking in terms of worst and best case scenarios, they tend to have an impulse in proving people wrong instead. It is to be noted that their aggression is expressed mostly in the social arena and not as much in their private lives, as they will usually have needed to develop some level of trust with those they are the closest to. There are sixes, after all and they have their bonds of love and trust forged in steel. Denying fear and weakness becomes their crowning glory as they seek refuge in the fortress of their own indomitable spirit. 
these sixes display a forcefulness that comes from not wanting to be weak and they don't allow for weakness in themselves. Skill and readiness is important to them. But don't be misled by their assertive march and their forceful cadence in their steps. These warriors are on a quest not just for the thrill of the battle, but for a sanctuary from their doubts and vulnerabilities, which they have plenty. Their strength, be it in the form of physical prowess, or woven from the threads of enchanting beauty, or forged in endurance or pain, serves as their shield against a tempest of chaotic emotions that threaten them. They crave a clear path, so pragmatic ideologies are appealing to them. Unlike the Set Preservation Six, who might shy away from the dragon's lair, our sexual sixes will rather dance with the dragon, finding safety in the very art of danger. Their approach to life is a daring ballet, a bold confrontation of what lies in the shadows with a belief that facing a threat head-on is the true path to safety. Despite the certainty their bold actions may portray, a sea of doubt churns beneath, a secret only very few know about them. In their minds, the path is fraught with indecision, a constant battle between the diverging roads of choice. They can end up looking like Enneagram Type 8s or 4s. Thank you for watching. If you want to support the channel, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you.